like to take you on a bit of an expedition into the history of computing, and I'll end up by talking about one unseen but very important part of the future. If you looked at computing in 1900, it was a career. A person who tabulated numbers was called a computer. Fast forward to World War II. We're creating massive, building-size electronic computers. Our goal was to break ciphers like Enigma, to figure out enemy activities, to save the world from the Nazis. In that era, there were very few electronic computers. This was just a small hill. It was really computing as four or five big calculators. Fast forward to the late 60s and all the way up to today. That's this mountain that we're on right now, and it's big. It started with this idea that you could look into a computer screen and see a place. You had a desktop and some folders and a trash can, and the information was actually in the computer. Today, at the top of this mountain, we have just passed one billion internet users. But there's a much bigger mountain ahead. The future isn't going to be billions, but trillions of computers embedded in just about everything. So how big is a trillion? Well, let's count back in seconds. Go back a million seconds. That's like uh, maybe a week and a half ago. Go back a billion seconds. Well, that brings us back to the mid-1970s. All right, now go back a trillion seconds. H how far back do you think that is? Well, you know, it turns out that it's over 30,000 years ago. So, so trillions of computers. And this is not computing as a place or computing as a big calculator. It's going to be computing as an ecology. It's all around us, not information in the computers, but people in the information. I don't mean trillion, by the way, like the way we think about the big deficit. That's about a trillion one dollar bills that are all the same. Not some things that are all connected or sending you spam or infected by a worm or asking for today's update. This is a big challenge. This is going to create whole new industries and other businesses are just going to disappear overnight. So why do I say that? Let's go back to the current mountaintop. Many leaders see the mountain ahead. After all, it is huge. But many of them have confused a good view for a short distance. They try to get to the other mountain by building fire towers and rickety bridges in the hopes that they can get there from here using their existing ways of thinking. But they can't. You really have to climb the other side. You've got to start designing for trillions. It's a totally different and bigger challenge, frankly, than humankind has ever faced. But even though we haven't solved the problem of trillions, nature has. Your own body has trillions of cells. It's a complicated information system in its own right. In your body, you have atoms, which make up molecules, which make up cells, which make up organs, and those make up systems, which make up you, and then we together make up us, and groups of us make up communities. Nature uses layered complexity, and it also uses some other proven building blocks. They're all unseen, they're invisible. But there's no doubt that trillions are possible and represent the future information age to come.